Ya furaha sana kwa karibisha siku hii ya kiswahili. Okay. So As a Muslim, my faith teaches me that Allah Almighty created humans into nations and tribes, which incidentally uh, the High Commissioner was also stating. So we may get to know each other. Like a bouquet of uh, flowers, we enjoy good relations and we all look good together. The diversity of mankind, the vast cultures that we have, the geography and history tells us about different languages spoken across the globe. Even with the disabilities, people have a language. Babies have their own language. I didn't know this, but politicians have a language. For instance, I will not go. <laughs> Actually means, I will go. <laughs> language is therefore a core DNA of every human to establish good communication. Words in a language have the capability to love and unite, to hate and destroy. But it is how words are used and to seek empowerment for betterment that help bring about change and development amongst people of all nations. Language is therefore central to our lives to coexist. It has history, heritage, and it is a social identity. Everyone gathered here today has an interest in the Bantu language of Kiswahili, which is widely spoken across the African continent and indeed globally. Kiswahili enables the integration of the rich continent and its people, and that is what we are celebrating here today. Even though I don't speak Swahili, but to celebrate this wonderful, historic and rich language is a momentous occasion, and I am proud to be amongst friends and colleagues to mark this UNESCO Declaration of the World Kiswahili Language Day. Thank you to Lord Sheikh and Baroness Burma for hosting us in this very beautiful building, our parliament. Thank you also to the entire MTM events team, Asante Sana. In M1000 talk show, your number one talk show writer. Ladies and gentlemen, happy, happy World Kiswahili Day, 7th of July 2021. Um, we have a little bit more Juliet entertainment and from also the Mombasa Roots Black band. Here today. Uh, okay. Mombasa Roots are a very famous uh, band from the coast of Kenya, um, from Mombasa, as their name says. Um, those of us that are Kenyans here, uh, those of you that are older than me, maybe know who they are. I've been told that they're really good. No, I'm joking. Uh, I, I do know who they are, and they are fantastic. Thank you so much to them for taking the extra effort to record this for us. Ladies and gentlemen, Mombasa Roots. Hi, how are you all doing? Mombasa Roots Band, a very, very long and outstanding band. Born in 1977, right here in Mombasa. Mombasa Roots was formed by three brothers. My brother here, here, Brian, our late brother, Emmy, and Suleiman, playing the keyboards. So it was a strictly family affair. Then we had a drummer, the late Tamrat, who was from Ethiopia, a great drummer, and strictly performing only on the tourism circuits. The band survived, and still continues to survive, in the tourism sector, and along the coastal beach of Mombasa. Mombasa Roots Band managed to record the first album in 1987, and the song which you're gonna hear, Disco Chakacha, was a hit song all over the East Coast, from Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania, and still continues to draw the charts. We hope to see you very soon in the United Kingdom. Karibuni Mombasa, Karibuni Kenya, 
Thank you very much. I'd like to add up something a little bit. When you uh, recorded our uh, first LP, the song Disco Chakacha, it was a very big hit. We introduced the Chakacha all over around because um, we need to go to Nairobi we play in the club. Everybody was wondering what kind of music is this? And once they knew it and uh, they saw the dance of the song, everybody liked it. And now everywhere in East Africa, Chakacha is famous and it's known and everybody knows how to dance Chakacha. It's a typical Swahili from the coast. We normally do it during our weddings. Asante sana, and we hope to see you soon. If God wishes, thank you. All right, once again, Mombasa Roots Band. <laughs>